Hey, it's uh, Takinson here, doing a showcase of the brand new uh, iPod Touch 2G jailbreak. Um, it was just released maybe Friday or Saturday, and uh, it's absolutely fantastic. I've been using it for the past maybe two days now, and it's just amazing. Um, really easy to do. Uh, it's still tethered though, as you can see here. You've got to use your cable, connect it, and to uh, power it up every time you use it. Um, but pretty much I'll just do a showcase for you now. If I get enough comments or requests or anything, I'll do a full tutorial. Really easy to do. Um, it does require a lot of developer console and uh, command line, even for Windows. A lot of people say it couldn't be done on Windows, but obviously it can be. There's some automated jailbreaks. Um, there's been a lot released already. So uh, basically, I'm going to show you how to boot this up. Since I've already got it jailbreaked, I'm just going to start up iRecovery here. And it's telling me to replug my iPod in. It'll turn white. So just unplugged it there. Let's put it here. There. Now it's plugged back in. And it's white. So now it's ready to accept any firmware or uh, any sort of uh, changes to iBoot, which is uh, the bootloader for your iPod. As you can see, it is the iPod Touch 2nd Gen. <coughs> so, press enter here, now we're ready to go. So I'm going to type in ARM7, underscore go, it's just uh, implementing the red snow. Arm uh, 7 underscore stop. There. And now I'm going to type control C and I'm going to terminate the batch job. Press A key. Alright, here we go. And now press go. Start up. So I've already had a jailbreak for now. Right now, I'm just uh, starting it up for another time. There it goes. Really easy to do. It doesn't take any time. Not a big hassle like some people have been complaining about. Um, not really the end of the world. <laughs> of course, an untethered jailbreak would be ideal, but it's obviously not easily done. <laughs> so there we go. Just starting up. Got the follow three uh, sounds here, as you can see here. That is censored, by the way. <laughs> but this is uh, using a different uh, theme here. It's called uh, the Eyeglass something. I'll include a Eyeglass Soul. I'll include the link to my modified theme. I've changed the background on it. I'll include the link in the description just over there. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I've got uh, basically all the jailbroken applications. I've got categories, so you can go down here, go to games. Uh, everything's really cool. I, I really like it. Um, just I'll do a showcase. I'll start up Cydia for you. Loading data. Really, really cool. Haven't had an issue with it yet. Um, some people have been complaining about a possible bricking, but I haven't heard about that yet. It's just downloading packages, doing a refresh. It takes a little while, but definitely worth it. You have to be on Wi Fi to do any of this, so there it goes. So there's all my packages, so I could go down to, let's say, you got all your games there, you got your Genesis, um, Genesis emulator, I've already got the NES and the PSX emulator, 
So I'll actually show you those right now. Got uh, Quake and Doom as well. So for example, I'll show you the NES emulator first, right here. And let's do, um, I haven't run Final Fantasy yet, so let's try Final Fantasy 1. controller. <laughs> That's the fun. Works great. Almost zero lag. Um, Mario's really fun. Probably one of the best features. Same thing applies for, let's say, Quake, for example. Really minimal lag. Really fun. So I'm just going to show you that here. Really cool. That's just the demo video, but as you can see, this is great. So we press this button here, single player, new game, and there we go. Really fun. Um, just shows the uh, iPod's power here with a better processor than the iPhone. <laughs> So I've got the uh, full theme here, just basically everything you need. Um, got the terminal, got your finder here. Um, and I do have OpenSSH working, for example, right here, I'll show you. Just gonna log in as root into my iPod. There we go, and uh, right there. That's my iPod. I'm in my PSX folder right now because I've been doing some modifications in there just to, for some performance increases. Um, I'll actually show you that right now. I've got uh, Vagrant Story on there. Really cool. Um, really, really cool. And I've got Crash as well. Some of the best. That's Vagrant Story there. A little bit of lag on the PlayStation, but still minimal. Nothing to complain about, really. really fun square game so you know it's good <laughs> yeah gotta love the iPod uh, so much capability just packed into one little box anyway so that's basically Red Snow on your iPod Touch 2G it has been done and uh, really easy to do um, if you guys want to see a tutorial I can do that for you uh, just let me use some comments and uh, that's about it